What's up, family? This is your boy, Bill, on the budget, back with another video. Hey, how y'all guys doing today? Hoping that uh, I'm catching y'all all doing well because I am. Look, um, got a little video I want to do today on some repair on one of my fenders. Um, maybe uh, you'll learn something. Maybe i learn something. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and talk to you a little bit about what I got and what I'm trying to do, and hopefully it all makes sense uh, in the end. Okay, if y'all remember, a week or so ago, I got these fenders uh, from a guy off a of marketplace. Um, I got the left and the right side. He basically gave them to me. But they had a little damage, and I'm going to try to fix them. Okay, we're going to start out first looking at the driver's side fender. Y'all see what's missing? It looks like somebody cut a piece off right here, something right here, and you see it around the top edge. Well, to make it a little clearer, let me show you one that got it on there. You see, all of this is gone. Part of this is gone. And all of this is gone. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this fender, the green fender, and I'll show y'all I'll flip it over in a minute. And I'm going to cut that stuff off, and I'm going to graft it onto that one. So, first of all, I'm going to flip this other fender over and let you see what I'm working with. Okay. Here's the fender that I'm going to use as a donor. As you see, it's got damage right here. Uh, it got some damage right here, which I might have to still cut into that. Right in there, I might can get past some of that. And then as I showed y'all, uh, you can see where they welded up all of the holes uh, for the molding. And then down here on the bottom, you see how that big old patch is protruding out. Um, I mean, this fender here, it's got some damage right down on the bottom, but uh, it's nothing like up here. And then you see it has the uh, holes for the molding. I think that it's a better fender, me personally. Now, you may think otherwise, but uh, I'm going to do my best to cut this thing and graft it back in the way that it should go. Hey, let me know if y'all think I can do it. <clears throat> can built on the budget perform a surgery that will be worthy to put back on this truck? I guess we'll see that in a little bit. Let me get a couple of things together and then i get back with you. Now, the first thing you need for this job is some safety glasses. And these here is not the best, <clears throat> but they cover my eyes. And uh, if you ever got anything in your eyes, then you know these is what you really need to have. So I wanted to show y'all that. With everything that you do, be as safe as you can. And uh, I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to try to do to make this thing work. Okay, you see this hole right here? I'm going to cut behind this hole. And I'm going to change hands with it. I'm going to cut behind that hole. And then I'm just going to scab it this way. Because I want to cut. You can't see nothing with that camera. I want to match. I want to use this hole here 
the located. So <clears throat> I don't really need nothing but the front end of it, but I want to cut it enough where I have something to work with, and then I trim it as I get it initially cut off. But you want to make sure you got enough, and you don't want to not have enough, but you get you enough, then you can start trimming it down to fit until you get where you need to be. And then uh, we're going to cut it, and then I'll show y'all what we're working with. Okay. This is the section that I cut off for the front end, right? And, uh, you know, I'm going I'm to use all of this. See, so I can trim it a lot. My main thing is I need to get this part down this front edge is pretty much what I need and I need a lot of the, the, the top section cause see I'm missing that bolt right there on the front and you see you see I got this line here but out here it's supposed to be another bolt so I want to get that out of there. So I'm just looking at it, seeing how much I can get away with, and I'm going to skin it back and uh, I don't have a one shot. It's like my videos, I got to do it in one shot because I don't get no redos. I have to find another fender. And they hard to find, and when you find them, I don't know what people think they have. They think they got a gold mine, but they really don't. All right, family. It's been longer than you think. Uh, I got it on there. Still got a little work to do to it, but uh, they fried it, man. I ain't doing a whole lot, but I'm just going to show y'all guys what I did do. I still got a little more welding I got to do, and then uh, I put me what they call a, a spoonful of mud on it. You know, I got some welding down at the bottom to close up a few more of them little welding gaps. And uh, But the main thing is I got it on there. So let me stick this fender on and let y'all kind of see what I got going on. See, even the door gap ain't too bad. So, you know, I fixed the bottom of the fender another day. Uh, I might can cut that piece out of that other fender. I have to look and see. But I really want to put the molding down the side of the truck. So I was happy to get the ones with the uh, molding already on it. So, uh, you know, but this fender, that's gonna be it for the day. Um, I have been working on the wiring and I made the decision that I wanna run new wires. I got the inside wire harness. I got everything working like it should work. Um, I have the, uh, the brake lights, the turn signals, the park lights, the headlights, the demo, all of that stuff is working like it should, but what I want to do is I'm waiting on the smiley face people to bring me some wire. I ordered some uh, wire, uh, coming like seven rows, all different colors. I needed it for my... 
I want to redo the park lights and I'm going to even redo the brake lights. I want to put all of that in that new. The harness that I bought is made for the under the dash with the fuse box and stuff. But you got to connect your existing stuff to it. And I figured while I was doing it, I'm going to go ahead and just run new wire and try to do it neat. Some things I can do neat. Uh, some things, man, I don't really care a whole lot about doing. I just do what I need to do. I want to make me happy. It's going to be a nice truck. And, uh, you know, one day it's going to make somebody a nice truck because, uh, you know, I'm not keeping everything forever. So, look, um, just wanted to show y'all what I got. And uh, I want to see. <clears throat> I see what that looked like when I start cutting it out. But if not, I make a piece. I have a a fender bottom that I'm going to put on one of them. I bought it brand new. I just had never, you know, took it out the box. But one of them is going to get a whole new bottom. And the other one, I'm going to make a piece to go on it. So, look, uh, this is my other fender. And it, it got that piece down there on the bottom. That's the only thing wrong with it. And uh, I might put it on today. Just for the heck of it. Maybe I do that. And uh just for the heck of it. I like that better already. Hey, even that old patina don't look bad on that thing. Yeah, that old patina don't look too bad, do it? I don't think so myself. But, uh, just wanted to, uh, shoot that little video. Um, yeah, we still doing a little work on the C10, uh, LS swap. I'm waiting on, uh, well, he got more parts in today. He got the rest of uh, his fuel lines and fittings and stuff. He got that in today. But see, I'm retired. He's a working man. So, uh, you know, we work on it when he off. And so, that's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to shoot this little video today. Messing with these front fenders, man. I didn't really want to do nothing today. Been that way most of the week. But, uh, you know, I uh, did get my, get my grass cut really for the first time. Uh, still got a lot more to do around here. A lot of work everywhere, man. It's a lot of work everywhere. But I got that done today. Wanted to shoot a little video and let y'all see it. And uh, I'm going to cut it off right here and tell y'all to appreciate you liking, sharing, and subscribing these videos to other people and telling them about Built on the Budget. Appreciate all your comments. Y'all stay tuned. I got plenty to do on this channel, uh, and we're going to get her done. So until the next one, and look, Smithsonian hands. I got a, I got a subscriber always ask to me, uh, what's the name of them hands? Smithsonian hand. These hands should be in the Smithsonian Institute. Smithsonian. Remember that. Peace.